Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is hopefully going to be helpful if you're learning how to curl your hair. This is how I've curled my hair for years. It is extremely helpful just to use as a basic curling method to create different styles, especially if you're a future bride and you're doing your own hair or bridesmaid or just going to an event. This is a very useful curl technique. It's how I did my hair on my wedding day. It's also how I do my hair on an everyday basis, minus the extensions. But if you wanna learn how to curl your hair and get longevity out of your curls, then just keep on watching. Okay, so as you can see, I have quite coarse, frizzy, thick hair. It's very deceiving. My hairdresser always tells me, how do you have so much hair on your head? And honestly, if you saw my parents' hair, you would understand. Naturally, my hair does hold curl because I do have naturally wavy hair and it just holds a curl pretty well. I do say to all my brides though, get extensions. It will hold a curl so much better because whenever someone says they wanna wear their hair down and curly on their wedding day, I always say no matter how many products you put in your hair, if it is a humid day, Mother Nature will take over. That's just a fact, like it's going to happen. So take that into consideration, especially if you live in a humid climate. If you wanna wear your hair down, don't set perfect curl expectations on your hair. There's no product that can fight and combat humidity, but extensions do help hold a curl definitely longer than a natural hair will, especially if you have thin, fine, or untouched dyed hair, as in virgin hair. If you literally have never touched your hair, it tends not to hold a curl as long. Get extensions, make sure they're washed and air dried naturally you will see a massive difference. So you guys know I have my Luxie hair extensions. I've used them for a decade now. I bought my first pair when I was 19, I believe. So 10 years, absolutely love them. This is the Seamless Blonde Balayage set. So it has the shade Dirty Blonde and Ash Blonde all throughout. So it's a really good match for my hair, even though I have some different tones. It blends really pretty. I have them cut a little bit shorter they're definitely still longer than my natural hair but they're really more for volume and a touch of length so let's go put those in on areas your hair might be a little bit more fine or thin definitely back comb those areas and then put in the clips if you find that's everywhere on your head do that so that the clips don't slide throughout the day and they stay put and they feel really secure so this is what it looks like with all the extensions in my hair i always like to give it a brush Obviously I had curled my hair previously, so there's naturally a little bit of curl. You will find whenever you buy extensions, they're so silky and so smooth. Natural hair just won't be that smooth unless you have very beautiful silky hair, then lucky you. But for my hair type, I always have to give them a good wash and let them air dry so that it mimics my hair texture a little bit more. Don't just put them in your hair because I feel like they always come with a little bit of a coating and giving them a wash kind of washes that off. And I do find that doing that also keeps the curl in longer. Some little tips from wearing extensions for literally a decade. Now so that you don't overwhelm yourself, we're gonna start, we're not gonna even touch this area, we're gonna even minimize the amount first. We're just gonna go right at the top of our ears. So basically just the bottom extension clip that we put in is what we're gonna work with first. I'm gonna start off with this spray. It's from George Northwood, who is Rosie Huntington Whiteley's hairstylist. He's incredible. This is a wave holding spray. First of all, it smells incredible, but also it really helps keep the wave in longer. A big myth that I've come across with hair is more hairspray, more products equals longer lasting curls and it will just look better. It's not true. More products actually weighs down your hair and can do the exact opposite. So be a little bit more specific with the hair products that you need for your specific hair type and you'll see amazing results. My weapon of choice is my very beloved T3 Micro. This is the one inch. I had the old version of it as well for a couple years and literally used it so much. This is the new and improved one, which you can basically figure out your hair type and what exact heat works for it um, on the touch screen here. A big tip though, if you have finer hair or silkier hair, use a straightener. I feel like having the heat on both sides with the clamp really makes sure that the curl locks in. I'm just gonna talk as I do it. I'm not really specific with size of hair pieces, probably around one inch. I always smooth out the root and bring it down first just because it had a previous curl in it and my hair has natural frizz as well and natural curl. So I'm gonna start right at the top, curl it under and then start to curl it. Keep curling it in the wand. I'm not releasing it until the ends are just right there. 
I'm gonna hold it vertically because that's gonna give us length. If you hold it like this, it's gonna give you more volume out this way. So just think of where the wand is going. Length is vertical, volume is horizontal. So if you have really long, fine hair, definitely go vertical and you'll notice a little bit more of a bounce to it. If you want to still have length but with a curl, definitely go vertical. And now I'm just gonna unwind it, making sure the ends are a nice little curl. And as you can see here, that is a very traditional, pretty looking curl. If I was doing this on a bride or a bridesmaid, I would take that curl up like so and pin it in place. This just locks in the heat and again, makes it cool down in a position where it's nice and curled. So it again aids in longevity of the curl. But for today, I don't need that. I'm just gonna let it lie like this and it will be totally fine. So again, just smoothing up the hair piece and wrapping it away from my face. You can kind of change up the direction based off of the style that you like, but I always find away from your face just as the most complimentary. And curl under the bottom. So I'm just gonna do that for the rest of this bottom layer. Just for reference, this is the length without any curl, and this is it with a nice proper curl in it. You don't lose too much. Obviously you're gonna lose a little bit of length when you're curling your hair because it's lifting it up. It's not too dramatic as you can see. That's the bottom layer finished. A little trick that I've learned is actually taking a dry shampoo. My two preferred ones are all out, so I'm using this one, which is fine. And spraying every layer after you curl it. This reduces the oil in your hair, which in end reduces the weight in your hair. So again, aiding in longevity of the curl. Plus it just makes your hair look fresher as well. Now I'm gonna take out that second layer that we tied away, keeping the curls at the back, or if they're pinned, you're gonna have them pinned up anyways bringing it up to the front we're gonna do the same thing so taking inch size pieces really smoothing out the hair first then going in and curling it if you're gonna curl towards your face make sure the front framing pieces are at least going away and then you can kind of vary with which direction they're going Maybe there is a star with your So that is pretty much half our head done. We're gonna keep on going here. Literally your arms will become super strong. If you forgot to work out, practice your hair and it will be your arm workout for the day. Moving on here, I'm gonna take the top section out which has no extensions in it. And I'm gonna split it down the center here. So we're working with two sides. Now this part of my hair is the shortest because I have front framing layers. So I don't want to go too, too curly with it. I'm just going to brush it out here because it was getting a little naughty looking. Okay, I'm going to take my weave folding spray. Construction has started in the kitchen. We're taking out the fireplace. So sorry for the background noise. Oh, don't hate me. Anyways, I wanted to show you. This is half my hair, like the top half section. Look how much hair is there. Literally, I have so much hair on like the top half section of my head, but the bottom half is so much thinner. I don't know what that is about, but... Look at that, so much. Okay, let's get curling. I did forget to mention, because I have a lot of hair here, I'm gonna really pull the curl, just because if I keep it like how I did the rest of my hair, 
it's gonna look really really full and big on the top section where the bottom section might have a little bit more flowy length so that's what i have to do for my hair type if you feel like your hair is a little bit thinner on the top section continue how we've been doing it just modify it to your hair type my life was great till you added colors like the moon needs the sun we don't care about the others you said my world of fire Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. Always remember if you're gonna do everything towards your face, keep the very front section away just because it frames the face the nicest. I'm gonna let that set for just two more seconds, but you can see. It's like really pretty curls everywhere. Like they're obviously very ringlety. We're gonna brush them out and do not worry, have faith. <laughs> I also wanna mention, this is how I curl my hair on like a normal curling day basis. I don't curl my hair every day anymore. I used to, literally, I was that girl that curled my hair every single day. Um, hence two kids, don't have the time anymore. But if I want a nice curl, this is my technique that I still use to this day. Obviously without extensions, it's gonna look a lot more natural and I don't pin it up, I literally brush it out right away and it's just like a soft, big, loose curl. It's not just solely hair to do if you're a bride, bridesmaid, or you know, going to a big event. You can still do this technique of curl on an everyday basis. Get your brush. I like to hold the top of my head and literally follow my brush all the way down and it just will turn into such a nice soft curl. Probably put in that volume powder just in here, but because it's literally just a Wednesday, <laughs> I'm just gonna chill and just show you what it looks like without that. You can just see the different styles you can get out of this. So when I mean it, different styles, you can bring out the two front pieces to frame your face, push it up in the back, and you have half up pretty romantic style. This is basically how I did my hair. I just did it halfway so I kind of put it here and then had like more hair at the sides because I didn't want it fully back so you can play around with different ways to do that. Also if you wanted to do a ponytail, like look how pretty that would be as a ponytail. You could like bring it to the side as well too. I think that's so nice. Also a really popular style which I don't know if it's as popular anymore. If you wanted it to the side, just twist a few bits. Boom, a little side moment. Literally, this technique of curl makes any hairstyle just look a little bit more perfected and pretty. But if you're wanting to keep it just down and simple, I'm gonna take my absolute favorite hairspray ever, the Kevin Murphy Session Spray Flex. This is a great hairspray where it also comes in a mini, so you can keep it in your little touch-up bag, and you can spray throughout the day. It's not too heavy, it's not sticky, it doesn't make your hair hard, it makes it still flexible and moves, but it keeps your style in place. So. I'm gonna just smooth out any flyaways. Personally, I don't mind a little bit of texture in my hair. I don't like a smooth, hard cap looking hairstyle, so I don't mind if there's a little bit of movement in it. That's personal preference, obviously. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you're doing your hair for a big day, an event, a wedding, anything like that, or just for fun. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.